How's everybody doing today? Pete here at Spawn Fly Fish and we are going to tie a fun little nymph that is a combination of the body is peccary and then the front portion is going to be a partridge feather. And I know some of you are maybe not familiar with peccary. Peccary is the hair off of a javelina. Javelina looks like a pig, not a pig. It's actually a rodent, but their hair is pretty useful. So what I'm going to show you here is at the very top tip of this hair, do you see it looks like a, a tassel at the top of a, a ear of corn? And so what we're going to do is if you can get your fingers on one side and then grab that tassel on the other and dun, 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 you can split that hair all the way down. And now you have two pieces of peccary. And so all you have to do is tie in so that the inner core is facing up and then when you wrap, of course, the outer edge will show and that's what we are looking for. All right, so in the vise today, we've got the 523 from Firehole. This is a size 14 for the bead, of course, spawn football bead, size 5.5 millimeter in black. Now, to hold that bead in tight, we're just gonna add eight or nine wraps of some 0.015 non-lead wire. Let me snip that on the end here, and of course, I'm using a dedicated wire cutting scissor that happens to have a curved edge and if you want to know what type of scissor this is it is a cuticle scissor i only use the cute part and so got that cut like so rounded on both back and front push that wire into the back of the bead and it should say fairly secure for us at least long enough to get some thread on there and then we'll really snug it down for the thread today I've got some uni threads. This is six aught color camel. And once you've got that started, go ahead and trim that tag end out. Really simple fly here, but very, very effective. And again, once I get to these weighted wraps, I'm going to try to get a couple 45 degree angle wraps first, and then I'll come down and really tighten them down, cinch all those wraps in between the weighted wire, and we are ready to start tying this fly. So I'm going to turn this hook over, give myself a little room to work with there, and we'll take one of these hairs that we just split and find one I really like here. I like this one. So you'll notice after you split these hairs, it's typical that one side is a little bit thicker than the other. So just, you know, if you want, you can be a little picky and use the thinner one for a smaller fly that you don't want that body to build up. And then as far as where you tie this in, you'll notice like the brown starts here, then shifts to white and then back to brown. So all that comes into play. And my advice to you is to tie a few flies up, see what you like as far as that aesthetic, and then tie the flies that make you and your local fish happy. Just trim that tag end out there. So nothing to it so far. If you want, at this point, before you wrap this guy, you could absolutely use a little cement and, you know, give it something to grab onto. But I think we're going to be all right because we're going to actually fix that once it's done. Now, I've got a, a wire here. This is some ultra wire, small gold. And what I'm going to do is tie this on your side. And I know most of you would tie this in first, and there's a reason I don't. And it's to ensure I don't go as far back with the wire so that I can take one wrap with the peccary and still have the wire in front of that so that it fits into the first gap between the first and second wrap. And it'll make more sense as we go here. I'm going to start that on your side there and just wrap back. And finish wrapping that down. Now, as far as an underbody, I do want at least for the underbody to be very even. And if there is a, a taper, it'll be a slight one. And I want that to slightly get larger as it goes forward, as though it were a natural bug. That's kind of what we're trying to do here. I'm okay with this. All right. So now, 
that wire, I'm going to move it forward and then make sure that this first wrap of that peccary sits right behind it. Move the wire back. And now, when I make this wrap, that wire's trapped. It can't go forward, it can't go backward. And so I'm going to go with wraps that sit right between touching and not touching. I just need the smallest breadth of distance between each wrap of that peccary so that I can wrap that rib in between each of the hair wraps. And maybe one more here. You know, you can always cover this up, but you can't go back in and add more. So make sure you wrap far enough up on this stuff. Turn it over, tie it off on the top of the hook here. Since it's a jig hook, this will be the top. Three good wraps to trap, a couple in front to secure, and then we can trim this guy out. And as far as um, peccary or the, the javelina hair, I do need to give a little shout here to Greg, aka Thursday's Hopper, for reaching out to me years ago and showing me that nifty little trick of splitting the hairs. All right. So now, just carefully work your way, check both sides as you go, and we are throwing this wire rib right between every single wrap of that hair. So now we're gonna have a nice segmented body, very natural looking in the water, and oh so buggy to those little fish. All right, once we've gotten up here, go ahead, same deal, tie that wire off a couple good wraps, and then of course, we'll bring that wire back and wrap over on itself a couple times. And now that thing's not going anywhere. But I did tell you we'd do something to this peccary to give it a little strength. And so what we're going to do here is apply a very small amount of clear UV resin. This is the thin from Loon. And once you get a little bit on there, just sort of smear it around, cover the whole deal not looking for anything crazy, we're not bulking up the body a lot, just want to smooth it out and give it some strength. A couple tap tap taps, might even it up and and then grab your nifty little torch and cure that resin. I'm just going to get some extra distance on that thread so I don't get it soaked in UV resin. Give it a turn, let that stuff cure, and once you've cured the entire body there, we'll be ready for our next element. And we only have two more to go, so we are almost done with this fly already. I know, it's amazing. All right, so our next deal here, we're gonna use some peacock dyed orange, and I want about three fibers off of this thing. They don't have to be perfect by any means. And I'm gonna, since it doesn't matter if you tie this on the top or bottom, since we're gonna wrap the whole thing, I'm just gonna go ahead and tie this here. And the hook point's not in my way and possibly you can see a little better. All right, so that's gonna be our thorax here. And although it's not very bright, this will act as a hot spot. So since it's a little bit dulled down, with this actual shade of orange here. And this is a nature spirit peacock. Um, we'll call this a, a tepid spot instead of a hot spot today. And then before we wrap all those, I do have a partridge feather here. And as you can see, I've gotten the tip of it trimmed so I can use that as my tie-in. But we're actually going to, boom, tie it in over the hook eye and bead. And we're gonna tie this in so that the convex or top of that feather is facing the hook and that of course leaves the concave or inside of the feather facing upward as we wrap. It'll all make sense. All right and that's it. So now I've oh, got one little tag section of that feather to trim out. That partridge is pretty sneaky. There we go. And look at those fibers right there hiding. All right, so now pull up your peacock. 
gently begin to twist all three of those hurls together. Once you're happy, simply wrap it. And just be mindful not to trap a bunch of fibers from that partridge before you even get to use it. And one more in there. Yeah. Let's tie this guy off up here. And again, be mindful of that feather. I know it's it's a little awkward, but patience is all you need. Maybe an extra finger here and there. And there's one fiber of that partridge just trying to be in there. He'll get to play, but not yet. All right, two, three good wraps. And then I'm gonna get one wrap in front of that peacock, and now I can easily turn that out, like so. Let's turn this guy back over. Here's our, our partridge now, and typically all you need to do is coax those fibers back on both sides of the quill and gently, gently take one full wrap. And at this point, you can see we don't need a lot coming off of this feather. One full wrap is all we need. So I've held those fibers so I don't don't release too many more here. I don't want to cover up that thorax too much, but we do want that spider look that you get from a soft tackle or partridge or whatever. Tie it off, couple wraps in front, remove the quill, like so. Even those fibers up a little, and honestly folks, there's not much to it, but simplicity a lot of times is what gets the job done, saves you from a fishless day, all those good things. And in the water, this thing has so much movement and just attracts the fish like crazy. All right, a couple whip finishes here and this thing's ready to go. There's our first one. And you can see that hot spot is just peeking through there. And when this thing is in the water and those fibers condense down, that orange will stick out especially since we've got the black bead for an extra contrast uh, point there. And trim out your thread. Like so. For some cement on this guy, of course we're going loon hard head clear. And coat all those wraps. And just follow it around. And try to not get any any cement on that um, partridge if you can. If you do get a little in there, and guess what? It's not the end of the world. It'll still fish just, just fine. And let's call that good. All right, folks. The peccary and partridge soft tackle. Orange peacock in there for just a subtle hot spot. And tie this up, fish it, and watch those fish go nuts. Thank you to everybody who watches our videos. And if you'd be so kind, please remember to hit like and subscribe. And we will see you all on the water.